It's Callie and Jazz, we're the gurus, and we've had tons of questions coming into our DMs and we thought what a better way to share all of that value than to answer them with you guys. Question number one, how do you get more followers on social media? Mm -hmm, that's a good one. Okay, so to get more followers, there's a lot of different things that you could do. First things first, you obviously want to create a community within your brand or your business. And the way to do that is to be actively um, engaging on your social profiles. So following people that are relevant in your industry, following your ideal, ideal consumer, following people that are in your um, demographics, small businesses, people who you could partner with, people who could also right. bring you value. Um, really what it boils down to in social media is creating that community. It doesn't matter if it's Facebook or Instagram um, or I mean LinkedIn, TikTok, you are bringing value to your consumers and the way that you grow is to just keep on bringing value. Um, you want to be consistent with your profiles, you want to be actively posting. Um, right. If you just post once a month, odds are you're not going to be creating community and you're not going to be right. growing your social profiles. And there's a lot of different tactics that you can do, but for Instagram specifically, you can search in the Explorer page, whatever you're trying to search for, um, whether that's your ideal consumer, an industry, right. you can start building community instantly by going to the most recent posts in your Explorer page and engaging with the posts that are on there. You'll see that typically it'll somebody will have posted something like five seconds ago, 10 seconds ago, 30 seconds ago, one minute ago. So you know these consumers are actively online and they just posted, so you liking their photo instantly is gonna build that instant connection. Right. And what we like stressed here at Social Guru for you, um, obviously it goes into building community, but it's all about relationship building. And, and don't be scared to follow industry professionals either. That's a bit, I feel like a lot of times people will think that there's not enough um, business for everyone. Um, competition, Overcome is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want competition is good, but collaborating is number one. You definitely want to collaborate with industry professionals and anybody that you can in your area. Absolutely, and that also just boils back to the fact that, like, I mean, a lot of our clients are right. plumbing. Um, they're in the wastewater treatment industry, the food industry. Um, you can like people that are doing the same thing that you're doing, and you can kind of bounce ideas off of each other and see what they're doing and use that as inspiration for what you would like to do. Um, and this again, it's all about building that community. And right. once you have a solidified digital presence, you will start building trust within your brand. So the more consistent you are, the more consistent your bios and your uh, logo and your profiles and your cover photos, the more consistent you are, you are. And um, so your your consumers and your community right. know your brand and know your content. Um, that's how you essentially build your following. It's right. really, it's dedication to your profiles and it's just creating the community. Remaining consistent on all of your platforms is really crucial. You want to really capture their attention from place to place. Absolutely. And so they can see, they'll know exactly that's your brand, that's your style, they know it's you right away. Absolutely. Next question, what are the hottest social media trends? Ooh, okay. I think this changes up quite a bit. <laughs> Weekly, <laughs> daily. Yeah. Every time you think you got it, it's gonna be different. Yep, 100%. <laughs> um, so honestly, one of the biggest things, uh, this is not really new to us, but it might be right. new to you, yep. is Instagram Reels. So Instagram about was it, six months ago now, probably, maybe even a little bit longer, came out with the Instagram Reel right. feature. An Instagram Reel, gives you an obnoxious amount of exposure to reach your target audience. So if right. you are selling a product, if you are selling a service, if you are, if you have merchandise, I mean, if you're in retail, if you have an e-commerce store, tick, or Instagram reels are just right. the same as TikToks, basically, with the features, with how you put your videos right. together, the 30 second clips or 15 second clips, you can add audio to it um, as well. These are so powerful for you to create little skits, basically, that you can reach your ideal consumer and your audience without being right. salesy. Or um, even, it doesn't. the perfection doesn't have to be there as well. This is raw right. stuff in the moment, and it's it, it gives you an organic opportunity to reach your ideal consumer um, just right. simply because of the fact that the way the algorithm is set up, 
you if you use the right hashtags if you use the right song you could literally go viral in two seconds um we've had some of our clients post reels in the moment that we post them we literally get thousands of views um and the way that we do that is using the hashtag explorer page or for you page on TikTok, and it's the same kind of platform the same kind of um service if you will so with that um what was the question again trend how do you try <laughs> yeah, how does trends. okay so reels obviously is number one you can reach your uh ideal consumer We're going on and on about a rant here that's okay okay next trend the next trend would be a uh, LinkedIn sales navigator. We've been yes. using the sales navigator. It is a great opportunity for people who are in B2B sales um, or services like we are. Um, the LinkedIn sales navigator gives you an opportunity to really target who you're trying to reach. Um, and they will give you active accounts that are um, posting consistently on LinkedIn. Right. And it gives you that extra boost in trying to reach your leads and also it, it has this great organization behind it um right. you can create specific lead lists for each kind of either demographic industry um as far as maybe the position of person within that industry or within that um business you can target the vp of sales you can target the the cmo of marketing so there's a lot of things that you can do um with linkedin sales navigator if you are in b2b if you are not right. in b2b we highly don't recommend it we don't think it's something that's very important for you but for our industry we've seen great results with right. it and it's something that we love and it's something that's super super new yeah i would definitely say if you're not if you're a building a business professional and you're not on linkedin or active on linkedin you're sleeping you need to get yes. on that and you need to get con connecting with the different people in your industry and the same roles as you and the community leaders in your area that's really really important absolutely um other hottest trends let's see well google my business i don't know if it's a trend it's been around for a while now but if you're not active on your google my business profile highly recommend it Google will give you a free opportunity, and I think this is actually might be one of the questions that I read that somebody actually had sent in yes. as well. What um, is Google My Business, and is it a, does it operate? So is it a is it an operating social media platform? Woo! And the answer to that is both. Yes. <laughs> um, so Google My Business is not like its own social media platform. However, within the back end or dashboard of your Google profile or your Google listing for your business you can post daily multiple times a day in that platform and what that does is it gives you an opportunity for optimization through google right. so you can get a higher ranking simply by being active on google right. so google will crawl your google site all the time the more content you're putting out into your google profile the higher your ranking is going to be therefore the more traffic you're going to be driving to your profile um, and there's a couple strategies that we have as well that if you are interested in Google My Business and you want to know more about it, we have some very awesome uh, methods that we use to organically reach your target audience and using uh, keywords and keyword phrases right. for free. Um, so definitely DM us, send us a right. message, uh, give us a call if you're interested in learning more about these strategies. We right. would love to teach you. Um, and get you to number one on the Google list. Yes, and that's very, very important. And a lot of people spend okay. an obnoxious amount of money on Google ads. and they Thousands of dollars. Literally thousands. Uh, we've had many clients come to us scratching their brain. And honestly, with 2020, we know how the economy is. And for people who are spending over $500, upwards of $2,000 a month on Google ads specifically. Um, one, it just doesn't fit in the budget for most businesses. And two, they're seeing that they are not getting the results that they're looking for. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that you can actually implement the way that you do your Google ads as well. Um, so if you are looking at Google ads or if you haven't had success with your Google ads as well, send us a message. We would love to help you. We would love right. to share with you how we um, put together our Google ads for ourselves and for our right. clients. Um, that will give you guys the results you're looking for. Absolutely. Next right. question. Next question. <laughs> Why are you passionate about social media marketing? <laughs> oh, that's a long one. Do you um, go first? Yes. Okay. So this is. I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory. So Kelly and I have been avid entrepreneurs um, for myself 
close to 10 years now and Callie I mean right like right behind seven, yeah. yeah seven and we um so we have had many business ventures or startup ideas um things that we have put a lot of energy into um in the past and they just didn't work out for whatever reason Rich, if you're an entrepreneur you know exactly what we're talking about it won't be the last time either no <laughs> and that's just the thing is like okay another sidebar on top yeah. of that sidebar is we are very passionate about like um creating your own reality being um who you foresee yourself being in the future and really i mean all we do is hustle 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 right. we work all day every day we're we are we have goals okay and goals are what drive you and we literally through our entrepreneur journey we have learned and accumulated all these different um trades and marketing and sales right. and google ads and branding and helping our friends create their brands and helping a global company create their brand um helping crypto startups start their brand we have just accumulated throughout the years and a lot of our friends as well we've learned so much from just right. each other um that just the whole entrepreneur journey we have accumulated all of these different um services and um knowledge i guess if you will that we have just really piled and piled and piled and now uh actually come 2019 towards the end of 2019 we were doing another business venture that completely fell through um we had enough of the journey for that journey and we were ready to try something new and fresh and we wrote down a list of what we were good at what we were not good at what our best attribute attributes were what um what drives us what are we passionate about and we kind of just like connected the dots and a lot of it was branding helping right. our friends helping other entrepreneurs um with their businesses boosting their businesses right i think a lot of to add to that too is like everyone has a story to tell and everybody can bring value and it's sharing that value and how you present it and that's where we come in absolutely like, yeah. and like we and that's just where our passion really lies it's not necessarily the social media marketing side of it it's more so the branding and right. the help i mean honestly s helping startups and companies or businesses or brands that or entrepreneurs that are branding themselves that have not really put forth the energy or they're feeling lost like that's right. where we like really show through is because we can help them create their brand and create their message and create their story and right. create a digital strategy for them right. that will help them boost their business right. in good time as well and so that's where our passion really is is just helping other entrepreneurs we know about that journey we know right. how things can go we know how hard it is to be running a business but at the same time trying to do all the social media right. you wear a bunch of hats every business owner knows that you're doing everything all, all at once and that's just how it goes absolutely and so our whole philosophy is to be an extension of your brand rather than an outsource we fully submerge ourselves into any company brand or entrepreneur that we work with we really just fully submerge ourselves that means we know the ins and outs of your industry we know who you guys are we know your morals your beliefs what kind of verbiage to use we create right. verbiage for you um so with if we're going to be creating content and verbiage right. for these companies that we work with we have to fully understand what it is that we're trying to sell or what we're trying to get across right. to their ideal consumer and that also comes into play where we have to d sometimes dumb down the messaging and create it a, in a, a shorter way so people can understand um, things like technology. We work with a tech company out of Grand Rapids and it's cloud storage and it is very intense to try to explain cloud storage to an ideal consumer um, or to the average consumer if you will. So creating that message and helping brands go along their right. brand journey and the decision journey for their clients that's also like what our passion is as well so really it boils down to that we're just super super passionate about yeah. helping people build their businesses and 100 percent like your guys' success is quite literally our success so yeah. we'll take it to the moon <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, sorry to cut this one short, but we, if you guys have any questions on social media marketing, digital marketing, lead generation, comment below, send us a DM, shoot us a call. Um, our Calendly link is in our Instagram. You can literally schedule a meeting with us, 15 right. minutes, um, just to kind of have that preliminary conversation yeah. and see what you guys are doing. We are here to help you guys. Um, this is what our passion is, and we are just very grateful to be in a position where we can share our knowledge with you guys. So thank you again and have a great day. Thanks guys. Bye.